Hello, and in this video, you learn to install and use Llama 2 and a huge variety of other AI models created by Meta, other companies, and people onto your personal device. The benefits of this being being able to use it without Wi Fi as it's embedded onto your device and being able to use it anywhere in the world. And so, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so first things first, we can go to our browser and go to olama.ai and click download. You can choose your operating system. However, this is quite new. For example, even two weeks ago, Windows wasn't available. You could still use it by installing WSL on Windows, which is essentially a way to run Linux on a Windows computer. In any case, let's click download for Windows. It's only 200 megabytes, so it should take less than a minute, depending on your Wi-Fi. Next, you can go to Downloads and go to Olama Setup and click Install. I won't waste your time with the entire installation. However, you should know that your antivirus might complain, at least mine did. However, this is a product made by Meta, so there's nothing harmful. And just the antivirus thinking that some code is a virus when it actually isn't. In any case, let's click Install and wait for the installation to finish. Once everything is installed, you can go to your terminal. You can use the Visual Studio Code terminal, but I'll use this one. And here, I'll run cd dot o and press tab. It will automatically fill in dot olama and click enter. Now we can run the most basic model, which is llama2. Let's say olama run llama2 and click enter. First of all, it'll need to install this LM, which means a large language model, which is like ChatGPT, Claude. And it's around four gigabytes. Most LMs are the size, at least in Olama. It will take some time. For now, it's showing 99 plus hours, but once it sets everything up properly, it should take only a few minutes, maybe 15 at most. While the installation is going on, I'll show you to use other AI models with Olama. For this, go to olama.com, but instead of downloads, go to library. There's a huge list of different models, for example, Dolphin Mistral, quite a fun model, Code Llama, essentially Llama 2, but for coding, Llama 2 Uncensored, which is, as you might think, simply Llama 2, but you can ask it essentially anything. And you can search up, for example, code, and it will give you a list of coding AI models. And you can run them and install them the same way as we did, by simply, in your terminal, running Olama run, and the name of the model. And it's done installing, and now let's ask it a question. For example, what is the difference between React.js and Vue.js? And let's click enter to see what it gives us. And as you can see, here's the answer, and it has different points on the differences of React.js and Vue.js. Already structured, templating, JavaScript files, data binding. So as you can see, quite a detailed explanation. And even though Llama 2 isn't trained for coding, Code Llama is, it's still trained on more than 2 trillion tokens, and took more than a million GPU hours to train this. And we can use it all for free, in less than five minutes, which is absolutely awesome. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.